This is the Mud Hog Mortar Mixer here. We started this out listening to the what the people wanted. It come from our own field employees. But the secret to this is it loads low and dump high. A normal mortar mixer, you're loading up here. Once you use one of these things, you never go back to the other mortar mixer. So let me show you the, uh, watch this mixing action here. We got a, a ball in here that you can see it going from one side to the other side, back and forth. Cutting it, not just tumbling the mortar. So you're gonna mix a lot faster, a lot better mix. Yeah, it's got a cross port relief built in to where before it tears itself up, it stops. Then you just reverse it and go again. When we were building these things, they called me and they said, how big do you want to build that drum? I said, get the biggest guy up there, give him a sledgehammer, have him beat on it. When he gets to the point he can't put a dent in it, that's the size we want. So they called me back and said, that's 3 eighths of an inch steel, man. So that's what we're using, you know? So when you're cleaning it, you can stand here, it turns upside down rather than climbing down into something, right? Another big advantage of this, the typical mortar mixer, the bearings are right over the, the, the seals. When the seals leak, leaks, it ruins the shaft, the bearings, everything. You can see the bearings are away from the seals. As soon as you see it leak, you can change it in a half hour on the job site. You don't have to take the drum off or nothing, because it's not on it. You just lift it up in the air, you're done. Your concrete, okay. This will mix concrete, the blades, you can see there's three quarter inch gap between the drum and the blades. And another thing with these blades, they're made of masticated rubber, the same type of rubber you build car tires. So you're gonna run for years and years and years without ever having to change them. Another thing we've done on this mixer is it's, it's electric start. So every time you pull on a pull cord on a mortar mixer, you're one pull closer to shutting your job site down. With electric start, the only reason we ever have a pull cord on them is if they would leave the key on, the battery goes dead, you gotta start it to charge the battery back up.